Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Dan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Test Readiness Review. What is a Test Readiness Review? A Test Readiness Review is conducted to determine if the system under review is ready to proceed into formal testing. It decides whether the test procedures are complete and verify their compliance with test plans and descriptions. A TRR is normally conducted before each major test configuration item including hardware and software. It provides management with the assurance that a system has undergone a thorough test process and is ready for turnover to the next test phase. The program manager should address the scope of the TRR in the system's engineering plan. The definition of a test readiness review provides the formal approval showing that a system is ready to enter the testing phase. What is the purpose of the test readiness review? The purpose of the test readiness review is to assess test objectives, test methods and procedures, the scope of tests, and safety. It confirms that test resources have been properly identified and coordinated to support plan tests. The test readiness review verifies the traceability of plan tests to program requirements and user needs. The test readiness review also assesses the system under review for development maturity, cost and schedule effectiveness, and risk to determine readiness to proceed to formal testing. What is the risk associated with the test readiness review? The scope of the test readiness review is directly related to the risk level associated with performing the planned tests and the importance of the test evaluation results to overall program success. The level of specific risk and associated risk level will vary as a system proceeds from the component level, to the system level, to systems of systems level testing. Early component level tests may not require the same level of review as the final system level tests. Sound judgment should dictate the scope of a specific test or series of tests. Typical test readiness review success criteria include the following. 1. Completed and approved test plans for the system under test. 2. Identification and coordination of required test resources. 3. The judgment that previous component, subsystem, and system test results form a satisfactory basis for proceeding into planned tests. And finally 4. Identified risk level acceptable to the program leadership. These are the main criteria in determining if a test readiness review is successful. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the test readiness review. For more information, to include a checklist and key questions to ask, please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.